Here's five ideas for Christmas presents for musicians, starting with a clip on tuner, specifically this Snark one. I've got another tuner that has a button on it which goes into all these different modes. I have no idea why you'd want that from a tuner. This one, it's got an on and an off button. It's the same button. And when you use it, you clip it on and then you play a note and it shows if you're in tune. Really clear display, it's brilliant. I think it's 15 quid, absolutely amazing. The second Christmas present idea is Monty's instrument food. Now this stuff's around 16 pounds and you use it on the fretboard of your instruments, like this laurel fretboard. Before, it looks a bit dried out. Afterwards, it looks more like rosewood. I can't believe how good it is. This is like a 150 pound squire. I've used it on ebony fretboards on my Strat, uh, quite a few ebony fretboards. The most expensive guitar I've ever owned, the custom built one, used it on that. Use it on rosewood, ebony, laurel, I haven't used it on Power Ferro because I don't own one. 16 pounds. Every time you take your strings off, just bosh a coat of this on. It just looks amazing. You can also use it to lube your nuts. <laughs> you can also use it to lube your nuts, apparently. I haven't tried it, but it sounds fun. The Behringer Super Fuzz pedal. This is about 20 pounds. And every video I've seen reviewing this, or people trying it, they're always astounded about how good it is. It's got three settings, Fuzz 1, Fuzz 2 and Boost. I only really like Fuzz 1, I've got to be honest, I don't even like Fuzz pedals, but this, for 20 quid, trying out a new pedal, absolutely amazing. it necessarily has to be this pedal. All Behringer pedals cost about £20 each. Before I bought my Line 6 Helix, I think they are about £400, I just thought, well, instead of buying that, I could just buy every Behringer pedal and have change. I've since sold the Helix, and I kind of think I should have bought every Behringer pedal, so any one of these, it just adds, it's a good way of trial and effect, and they're just a clone of like your tube screamers, tremolos, choruses, but they're so cheap, and if it breaks, who cares? Get another one, at least you've tried it. If you don't like it, throw it away, it's 20 quid. But this, the fuzz pedal, 20 pounds. Definitely worth a try. Next up, we've got a set of Nashville strings, so these are high strung strings. It's like having a set of 12 string guitar strings, but the higher six, so the E, A, D, and G are all an octave up, and the B and E are standard. So it does sound a bit weird. If you picked a C chord, it goes like this. Oh wait, this is a standard strat, so. That's what a C normally sounds like, but with Nashville, you've got this sort of thing going on. Completely different. It's really nice to play the same chords, but it's an octave up. It's really good for a layer in the studio, actually. But also, if you've got a cheap guitar, like this 150 pound Squire, that you don't really play much, whack a set of Nashville strings in it, because then you'll use it because it can't do, like your other guitars cannot do this. So if you're playing, let me play this on a normal Strat, and then I'll play it on this, and you'll see just how differently. sounds completely different. Set of these, six pounds. I have bought sets of these for three pounds of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Just put them on a guitar, you don't play much, and then you'll play that guitar. The last one's a bit boring, but it's guitar picks. Jim Dunlop, I'm sure other makes do it, but Jim Dunlop do like selection packs, variety packs of picks. I always used to just play with like your standard Jim Dunlop, one size, and just think, well, oh, that's the picks I like, why would I try anything else? Then I saw a video by Jim Lil, and he played with celluloid picks, and the difference in sound, I was like, oh, I just couldn't believe it. So we're just gonna play, we'll play that same thing. <laughs> Celluloid. It's just nice trying like different material picks, different thickness picks, different sizes, because it does make you play different. And I've got, I mean, I think I bought every variety pack because I was like well I will see what sounds good on what and again it's really nice in the studio you think well I'll play with my normal pick on one guitar part and then play with the celluloid because it's a bit brighter on another one also different thickness picks like you can get really thin ones which sound quite trebly quite you get a lot of the clicky sound especially on an acoustic <laughs> uh, 
And those sets of picks are about five pounds a pack. I think I've tried all of them. I still like the same sort of thing, but I definitely use a celluloid pick, what I would never have used on before. Hopefully that's helpful. I've got all of these things. I think they're all brilliant. They're all about 15 to 20 pounds, and I would highly recommend them. Merry Christmas.